Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This is a show dedicated to helping you become a better organist. We're your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Usham Motuzaita Pinkavichin. We have over 25 years of experience of playing the organ. And we've been teaching thousands of organists online from 89 countries since 2011. So now let's jump in and get started with the podcast for today. We hope you'll enjoy it. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 679 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Rolf and he writes, Hi Vidas, very good wishes for you both. I want to tell you that I'm studying this wonderful preludium in C from J.S. Bach using your tips, especially the tip cutting the piece in four bars and not making any mistake by playing slower. It's working. In fact, it goes faster and it's giving me a lot of pleasure. Thank you very much. I will support your beautiful work, of course. Greetings from Groningen, Rolf. Do you, do you remember our fan, Rolf? Yes, I think he is a subscriber of my YouTube channel and he comments on my videos. Yes, and yes, a uh, regular commenter and uh, we appreciate his engagement very much and he is supporting us through Buy Me A Coffee too. Very nice indeed. Wonderful. So let's congratulate him a little bit more. Yes, I think it's wonderful that he found, you know, your suggestion useful how to work on the larger pieces, how to to divide them in the smaller segments and that way, you know, to learn faster. Do you like uh, playing a piece in, in four measure segments or not? Yes, I do. Because usually, you know, this is how most of the compositions divide. In four measure segments? Yes. With yeah. some exceptions, of course, but generally that's that's the case. True. If every piece would be possible to dissect into four major fragments, that would be very boring. But but uh, inside of any piece, you could find four major fragments easily. I think. Yes, true. So, th- th- in other words, composers use more more. Uh, ingenuity than just four, 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 four. But four measure fragment is a building block of any piece, uh, of from any period, basically. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Yes, agree? that's right. Yes, I agree. Uh, right now I am actually working also on some pieces for Easter, uh, based on Easter hymn, and um, I am creating uh, a recurring motif between choral phrases. We call it a ritornello. And uh, yes, it is divided into four phrases of four measures each, this general uh, ritornello. But of course, uh, I, I have to use a little bit more uh, creativity to make it more interesting and not to repeat everything note by note throughout the piece. That's right, of course. You cannot repeat exactly the same things. Yes, but those measures that are divided into four measures, four, f- four measure phrases, right? you could really uh, dissect and learn them that way. Yes, uh, actually the only one thing that I think it might be hard after learning uh, you know, piece by four, four bars is uh, how to put everything together afterwards. And how to connect those, you know, four bar long segments into the one big structure. Yeah, in 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 observing other people's playing, sometimes 
I can see that they're working in, in smaller fragments like this, but then when it comes to make the piece flow, they're struggling. Why do you think that? Why do you think they are doing this? Well, I think the main thing to keep in mind if you are um, practicing in the four measures segments, uh, you need uh, not to stop at the end of the last note of the fourth bar, but on the strong beat of the fifth bar. In other words, not to end the fragment on the last note of that fragment, but to end that fragment on the first note of the next fragment. Yes? Yes, that's what I mean. That might, you know, help you to put the piece easier together and it will be played smoother. And then gradually you could expand those fragments, uh, practicing not four measures at a time, but eight or even 16 or, I mean, not necessarily mathematically like this, but maybe one line, two lines, one page, two pages like this. Yes, true. Make, make it longer. Most people don't practice small fragments, so they they are not making that kind of progress like Ralf, Rolf is doing. Well, yes, because most people just play every time <laughs> from the beginning, mm -hmm. every piece. And I think that's a big mistake because that way uh, the beginning will always be easier for you than the end of the piece or, you know, the the center of the piece, the middle of the piece. Because I noticed that it's very often the case with the Lutheran crowds, with that Abgazang, you know, structure, when you have A section, then A section repeated, and then you have B section, which is a little bit longer than the A section, and usually more difficult. And I noticed because, you know, that A section is always repeated, you know it so well, but you struggle with the B section. So what I do, you know, if I'm not learning in the segments of four measures, I play the A section once, and then I play the B section also once. And if I repeat A section, I repeat B section, although it's not written in the score. So that you would be able to repeat uh, both halves equal amount of numbers? That's or right. or times That's equal right. amount of times. That's good. That's good. Uh, again, if you have you know the piece which is written in A B A form, then of course uh, I do the same with the middle section. It needs more more work done. And this ternary structure is very common too. Sure, of course it's it's probably more common in general music. I think uh, we as an organist uh, deal more with the binary structure. But I think in general the classical musician deals more with the ternary form. True. All right. Uh, we hope this was useful to you. This was with us. And Osha. Please send us more of your questions. We love helping you grow. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This podcast is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online. It has hundreds of courses, coaching and practice materials for every area of organ playing, thousands of instructional videos and PDFs. You will not find more value anywhere else online. Total Organist helps you to master any piece, perfect your technique, develop your sight reading skills, and improvise or compose your own music and much, much more. Sign up and begin your training today at organduo.lt and click on Total Organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. If you like our organ music, you can also support us on Patreon and get free CDs. Find out more at patreon.com slash secrets of organ playing.